Area Republicans came together over the weekend to officially kick off the 2018 campaign season, which for Republicans is unlike any campaign season in recent history. With Republicans in control of both the Minnesota House and Senate, those seeking re-election may take a different approach. At the Beltrami County Republican Convention, an emphasis on securing a Republican governor and congressman were a big focus. For congressional candidate Pete Stauber, Saturday was a chance to share a recent phone call he had with President Trump. President Trump called me yesterday and said, Minnesota matters, you will have all the support you need to make Minnesota hate red. While some attention was focused on national issues, it was state issues at hand, and working to have a Republican governor alongside its GOP-led House and Senate. Woodbury Mayor Mary Giuliani Steffens made her trip to Bemidji to introduce herself as a candidate for governor. We have not had a candidate in a state office in over 12 years. I propose we do something different. I propose we win. <laughs> and to win, we need a different type of candidate. And I'm that candidate. Beltrami Republicans attending their convention also heard from local candidates who talked about some of their recent projects at the state legislature. For some, the focus continues on key projects of interest. Just bringing our values to St. Paul, that, and that I think is, is my biggest accomplishment. Representing you in the environment and natural resources and government operations, and, and I'm the vice chair of the Veterans Committee. Representative Matt Grossel spoke about restoring key greater Minnesota values back into everyday life. Get our Minnesota values, our out-state values, back into not only the schools, but into our communities and into our government. For a county that tends to go blue, area Republicans will be spending time this campaign season to keep the county red. Now the Beltrami County DFL will meet for their endorsing convention on April 21st. Area Republicans will hold their next convention in May. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.